I also did a lot of painting in lockdown. I really got into my painting. I did Grayson's Art Club, which was one of my favourite things I've been involved in. Such a lovely programme, that, isn't it? I painted Chris Whitty. That's my painting of Chris Whitty. Right? <laughs> Saying, wash your filthy pig hands. Which is, I believe, a direct quote. And, um... It's very fortunate this ended up in Manchester Art Gallery and they said, oh, um, they sent this email, they said, you're in the art gallery, we need to know the name of the piece, the artist's name and the medium. So that's like the bits that go into making the painting. I've been drinking when I replied to this email. <laughs> I called it the Itty Bitty Titty Chris Whitty Committee. <laughs> the, uh, the artist's name was Hugo Boss, that was my name at the time. It's a long story, you'll have to Google it later, it's a long story. Uh, the medium was acrylic paint, that's what I normally use. And then there were some other bits in there, like oil paint and watercolour paint and that kind of thing. And then, because I'd been drinking, I just started listing things. It was like, olive oil, soil, boiled soil, boiled oil, olive oil, soil. I mean, I really lost my mind on this one, properly, like... <laughs> Seven fresh piglets! <laughs> a, a kitten's first memory! <laughs> Me meow went into the painting, just put some meow in there. Then I started listing actual mediums. Derek Acora! <laughs> Psychic Sally! Finished it all off with loads of Alan Sugar at the finish. Loads of Alan Sugar. Got to Manchester Art Gallery, they printed the whole thing. There it is. <laughs> Every last one of the bastards. Including my favourite, goat's milk, ghost's milk, ghost goat's milk. <laughs> ghost goat wandering around being milked for my, <laughs> my paintings. God, that was so good, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, stick around, watch some more, if you like. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs>